All right, Bang. Today's Monday. Uh, it is June 26. Welcome to the Dog Walk presented by Barstool Sports. Snake Draft Monday. We're joined on Zoom by Robbie Fox and the Clem Report. Uh, Robbie, welcome back. Thank you. Thank you for having me back, Eddie. I made a horrible mistake before the draft. Dad, did you guys hear about uh, I this? Sent, I sent Clem my whole draft board. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, man. That's like the cardinal rule. You can't do that. But he he tomfooleried me into it. Well, that's on you so, even more. So Robbie texted me and he said, uh, about to do a draft of best cars from movie slash TV with dog walk guys. And I knew at that point I was going to be on this draft as well. So I was like, oh, that's pretty funny. He doesn't know I'm on it. So then Eddie texts us separately. is like, hey, we're running a little late, um, if that's cool. So then I see Robbie's on the text message. So I said, Hey, Robbie, let me see your whole draft board. And I was like, please disregard the text that Eddie just sent because clearly it's saying we're on the same draft. Just fuck with him. And the kid still sends me the goddamn draft board. But I did not look because (laughs) I'll tell you, boys, after the fucking freezer draft we had and my team not winning, despite having the only Ben and Jerry's and the only edible ice cream on the fucking board, no offense to the drumstick, but it kind of stinks in 2023. I don't even know how the voting goes anymore in this fucking world we live in now. This whole dog walk draft was turned upside down. I agree. I didn't even make it to the vote somehow, even though I had a spectacular frozen (laughs) food aisle draft. I'm on a little hot streak here. I I, I got that. I'm up big in the sportscaster draft right now. You're up too big in that, I would say. No, like, I think no. that I think you deserve to win. I don't think you deserve to win with those. Madden and Vince Scully is a pretty good one. Over fifty percent is crazy for that. You Chief, took- I'm happy you said that. I'm happy you said that. I have a I have a theory about this actually. So more Eddie Tom winning Fullery? the frozen, the, yeah, the frozen food draft. Here we go with corn dog on his fucking list. Listen, I know True. you know everyone sees pizza rolls, pizza mm. bagels, really fun things to tweet about like a decade ago about how great they were, right? <laughs> And he's still getting that those kind of numbers with corn dog, which no self respecting person would buy and then cook at their own house. I think Eddie might be using AI. To corn like dog. Just so we're clear here, huh. corn dog was my bat flip. I had already won the draft one through four. <laughs> corn dog was I could have taken just the frozen icicles off the side of the frozen food <laughs> aisle thing cooler. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. And I think I still win that one. Huh. So you corn had like dogs. four pizzas before that, didn't you? Yeah. I had. Uh, Pizza rolls, pizza bagels, Texas toast, and drumsticks. Um, I'm getting tired just thinking about eating all that stuff, man. That is carb <laughs> city. strange at that one. Oh, it is and, strange at that one. It's peculiar. My, my radar's up now, too, Very Clem. strange. You might have to do uh, get John Rich do an investigation on this. Yeah. AI Ed. I wouldn't put it past him. And you guys say <laughs> There's you're no right way now. Ed knows how to do AI, though. That's Thank you. No one in this room knows the tech, but he would outsource it to somebody here. Who must, yes. you, know. hmm. you guys say you're hot too and the people that can't see uh because they're listening on, on the podcast me and robbie are coming in with three boys that are cooked they went out to the classic <laughs> yesterday and it's a little oh. intimidating that, you know you're varying degrees of sunburnt or sun tanned right now the sun the fucking sun beat up all three of you, it looks like and i'm a little intimidated as like a pasty guy in new york right now can you tell on the on the video how bad we are chief i can yeah. tell Chief, oh yeah, just the worst. Uh, I'm, I'm radiating. Yeah, <laughs> you could boil an egg on, or yeah. fry an egg on his fucking forearms <laughs> right now. It, it's it's a bad situation. A it was one of those things where I went, I took the dog for a walk at like eight o'clock, and it was still 78 degrees out, but there's a little breeze, and it just like I got hypothermia. You know how that oh, feeling where worst, it's like you're yeah. too burnt, mm-hmm. so you like you just get so cold. Yeah, so, I had that yesterday. Too. Yeah, that so it's uh yeah, it's been a little it's a tough. 48 hours or so but i you know i never, i want to go on the record and say that i did not think i was tougher than the sun that my people have been losing this fight for probably two hundred thousand years and i knew i was going to lose i just i just didn't lather up took the alley yeah. took shrimp no nope. shrimp's delicious i look like a cooked shrimp right now that's you what do. i look like yeah um yeah so i think this draft you guys saw the title when you guys clicked on the podcast uh Cars from TV and movies. It also fits well. This week is NASCAR week for mm-hmm. Chicago. We got the street race coming this weekend. We're all going to be there. Spider, Large, all the NASCAR boys. So we're excited for it. It seems like a good fit for this week. Big time. Um, so we could we could kind of just get right into this. I don't see why not. Harry um, has a number one through five behind his back, Robbie. What number is it? I'll go two. Derek Jeter. Yes. Jeter. 
Oh, ho. I know this is. I know it's coming uh, here. Give me the number two pick. Wow, hmm. that's what I would have gone with. Lucas. Really? I, think- I thought Robbie had it. Wow. Okay, one through four. Clum, Clum report. I was gonna say two, and he just took that number. So it can I'm be two again. Go, I could be two again, and I was thinking you should just stick with your gut. But I'm an idiot, so I'm gonna say three. No. Chief. God damn it. Two. No. no. Fuck. Dave. One. No. Four. Yes. I'll take the number one pick. I'm not scared. Uh, one through three, Clum. Two. Yes. Well, I know who Robbie's going to take if I look at his board. I want to run. <laughs> pretty, idea, pretty good idea who, who he's going to take at one. So where do I go? Uh, you know, we'll go. I feel confident in my top four here. So we'll go four. So we get the wraparound. We'll All wrap right. Uh, one or two, Chief. Two. No. Fuck. One. Three. All right, this is I don't this is the I didn't want to be picking fifth. I think I actually regret taking first the ones that are this deep. I don't think it is that deep. I didn't think it was when we got the topic, and then I googled and I was like, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. There's a ton of there. There's very only famous ones. There's and I only, like Google movies. There's only two that I really want. Hey okay. Ed, we could work out a trade here. The number fourth pick in the you know in honor of the NBA draft, which was last week at this point. Congratulations draft, on your Zach Levine trip. trade. Oh god damn it! Don't you put that evil on me, <laughs> you, you bastard! <laughs> I got Joey Langone just like full, like he's swooning over Zach Levine. Please, I do not want Zach Levine. I've been waiting for a superstar trade, not Zach Levine. Ugh. Eddie, the fourth pick's open. If you want to make a swap, they maybe get the that that little wrap around there. We could just get, trade the entire columns. What do you want to do? I'll let you get out of jail free here if you want it. Clum, I'd like to decline. I, I think okay, I, I've been enough. I've been I've been confident and happy with my drafting ability two of the last three weeks. I didn't win the childhood crushes one, so I'm just gonna keep. Poor trying to could roll. have drafted four like grandmother cartoon characters that didn't actually appear in. I agree with that. Everything and he would have won. He had Kapowski and Jennifer Love Hewitt. I think you guys are. Well, but that that I didn't won. even know the other ones though. Negates Neither did point. half our audience. I bet Elizabeth Shue. That was his fifth round pick. She's hot. Anyways, I'm not saying she's not. But there's like, a reason why ZD always wins the uh, fan vote. People like Dave. <laughs> like, Betty, there's a reason why we're always going to live shows. People like Dave. ZD. <laughs> All right, but before we get started with the snake draft, I want to talk to you guys about Jack and Coke canned cocktail. You heard it right. Jack and Coke goes together. We've been having it together forever at bars, literally forever, for generations. It's a perfect pairing. Now you can get it in a canned cocktail thanks to Jack and Coke. Uh, It is the official whiskey cocktail sponsor of the NASCAR Chicago Street Race that's coming here July 1st and 2nd. Uh, to the streets of Chicago. It's going to be an amazing event. It's also a music music festival. So imagine you're walking around the concert, you're taking in the race, you have an ice cold can of Jack and Coke. There's nothing better than that. Uh, Jack Daniels, Tennessee whiskey and Coca-Cola, they inspired the world popular Jack and Coke cocktail. And it's like available in a canned cocktail uh, now. So the Jack and Daniels, Tennessee whiskey notes accentuate the great taste of Coca-Cola, creating a perfect balance to deliver an amazing taste experience. Enjoy the crisp, refreshing, unmistakable taste of a perfectly mixed Jack Daniels and Coca-Cola ready to enjoy on the go straight from the cooler. It doesn't get easier than that. The world famous bar call known everywhere can now be enjoyed anywhere. So make it count. Jack Daniels, please drink responsibly. And whether you're hitting the race or watching from home, celebrate the Chicago street race with the new Jack Daniels uh, and Coca-Cola ready to drink canned cocktail. Uh, Find Jack and Coke near you or get Jack and Coke delivered by visiting jackdaniels.com slash whiskey slash Jack and Coke. So everybody knows that drink. We've all had it. We all love it. Now it's easier than ever to consume. Do it responsibly. Go get that Jack Daniels, Jack and Coke. Again, the website is jackdaniels.com slash whiskey slash Jack and Coke spelled out. And now back to the draft. Um, all right. So I'm up first. Also, snake draft, I believe, will be a best of next week. Let it breathe a little bit. Take a little little, little breath. So I don't know which one I'm going to air. But we'll see. Then we'll be, we're coming back. We're going to have some good ones in July. I'm excited for. Um, little tease there, I guess. You didn't tell me about this. Really? Well, I hope that happened, I should say. We're going – we're – I'll leave working it on it. Um, all right, so here we go. The cars in TV slash movies. 
I'll lead us off here. I, I, number one, I'm stunned Bob didn't take number one overall. He had probably the most iconic vehicle waiting for him to hop in. But I'm not going to take it. I'm going to give him a shot to take it at number two, and I'm going to go with the DeLorean. Oh, to me, that is that's that is number one. number one. But not for a guy like Robbie Fox, I feel. I think... you. Did, oh, this is your number one, Robbie? No, this is not my number one. You're right about that. Yeah. I, I think DeLorean is the unquestioned number one. The unquestioned number one. Clem? This was this is what I wanted to trade the for the first pick was so I could have the DeLorean on my that's why I wanted if fucking Robbie didn't guess number two, I would have guessed number two, I get number one. And Robbie I guess price I we all know what Robbie's probably gonna pick. Thing is this is kind of a Lamella Ball situation here, which again, this might be in the past, I might look like an idiot. <laughs> You're skipping on Scoot Henderson here because you don't need to fill the need because you probably don't love the the car you're talking about. I think the DeLorean is it's Wimbenyama, baby. It's fucking yeah. beautiful. I think it's one, too, and I didn't want to take the number one pick and not take it and then get shit for that. Ah, okay. No, I love the DeLorean. That strategy right there. Oh, it's awesome. I want to drive a DeLorean right now. Flux capacitor. What's yep. the, is there a controversy with the guy who made the DeLorean? Uh, I don't know. I mean, taking Glenn Gulia's car, though. From the wedding Ooh. singer, that's like no, he's no. one of the biggest scumbags in movie history. Glenn but Gulia he, was he I drove a DeLorean, that. and don't for that's Put probably it on the that's, graphic, Ken Jack. that's Put probably it on the what should be on the graphic is don't. Glenn, Glenn Gulia's. Why do I? I've seen that movie a thousand times, and I don't remember him having. He Mary is like, hey, don't yak in the car yeah, when Drew Barrymore was walking yeah. out. Yeah, so he drives a DeLorean, and yeah. that's the you know that's the guy that Ed wanted to pick his car, so he oh, he took stop. a DeLorean. Yeah, so I guess in October 1982, John DeLorean was videotaping a sting operation agreeing to bankroll drug trafficking, but he was acquitted in a trial. I don't know. I just remember there was some type of controversy. I mean, they went bankrupt, I'm pretty sure. I think that was part of it. It was probably like the Homer Simpson car where it was like way too expensive for the price point and all that shit. Um, Assembled in Northern Ireland. Not exactly a very, you know, happy place from... uh, Especially back then. Yeah. Yeah. Jesus, Ed. This is dark, man. Even yeah, stop. Yeah. Glenn, oh, stop. Glenn, Glenn, well, Glenn, Glenn, the good no. thing is he has a DeLorean, so he can go back in time and make those bad times happy times. I don't know if Glenn Gulia wasn't his wasn't going back. I'm happy to hop yeah. in a DeLorean with Einstein in the front seat. Just be petting <laughs> Shut Einstein. Shut up. <laughs> you want nothing to do with Einstein. I love Einstein. He's a fucking top tier movie dog. I think I drafted him maybe. Eddie would have definitely have sent Einstein back in time. Yeah, let's do the test work. on the like, dog. Ah, if, if something happens to him, too bad, whatever. Fuck it. Yeah. yeah. That's wrong. Uh, yeah, DeLorean, flux capacitor, Robbie Glenn, or Robbie. Glenn Gulia. Glenn Gulia. Wrong. Come on, you got to know what I'm picking with the number two pick. My first pick, it's the Batmobile. Yep. I'm taking the 1966 Adam West Batmobile. That is my personal favorite with the red trim. It was made out of a 1955 Lincoln Futura. I'm not a big car guy, so I can't describe the the you know mechs and the, all the capacitors, this, that, the next thing. <laughs> it's just a cool looking car. It's got a bat phone in the middle of it, flux capacitors to power, turbines to speed. Hit that big red button, you come flying out the bat cave. Greatest car in movie history. Yeah, I don't think you got to be a comic book nerd to show respect to the oh, Batmobile. Yeah, fuck no. no. I agree. Great, the, the Batmobile. It's like one of those things that. People just call other cars that, like, oh, we're getting in the Batmobile. You know, it, it's just like a synonymous yeah. with like cool car. Did you guys name your first cars? I did not. I did not. I did. The my, misery. My I machine. did. <laughs> <laughs> getting the misery machine. Going to the Sox game. Mine is R two because it's blue. Oh. Mm. And it's got an R two D two sticker on the side. Oh, I, I like that. You know, Ed's yeah. a bumper sticker guy. That's not true. Really, like a coexist bumper sticker? Coexist. <laughs> he's got the Jesus fish. He's got them all. He's got the 26-2 on there. The hammer and the sickle. Yeah, the yeah, hammer and the sickle decal stuff. on yeah. the back. I got, this, I got the zero point zero. The only zero. good dog is a dead dog. That's a fucked up one. <laughs> <laughs> I actually, I know how much you love South Park. Like a couple of years ago, I went to like one of those sticker machines, you know, mm-hmm. and I got, who's the guy who has like the crutches, like the handicapped kid? Jimmy? Jimmy? Yeah, I got Jimmy. I got Jimmy, Jimmy and I was no, gonna Jimmy. Jimmy. Not Timmy, Jimmy. <laughs> Jimmy. I had Jimmy uh bumper sticker. I was gonna just throw it on the Nissan <laughs> and just to see what you'd say. <laughs> I honestly might have left it there. <laughs> Jimmy's a hilarious character. He takes steroids to win the Special Olympics. <laughs> Great pick. Yeah. I mean, who's gonna argue with the Babel Bill? Not me. I think those that's the 
probably one of the easier one twos in snake draft history. You think so? I it's got to be right. Mm, There's yeah. so many great Batmobiles too. I feel like we could all have a Batmobile. So that I was think my question: he, Are we getting all the are you getting all the Batmobiles in the universe, and you're getting the Adam West one on your graphic? Well, does that mean other DeLoreans are available? What other movie I mean, has? I mean, Eddie already drafted Ghoulias. No, so right, I know. So, yeah, like, could there someone is else the take the DeLorean. other one? No, I took the DeLorean. I took Not the fuck. DeLorean. Yes, the DeLorean. Thank you, Dave. Uh, no, all Batmobiles are gone. Okay. Don't I, no, don't. They're don't so wildly me. different in the modern they movies are. versus the cartoon. They're like wildly different. They're like war machines in the yeah. Way. So you want the cartoon? No, he took the cart. The old Adam West, like he took the one from the sixties. Not the cartoon. No, I know, reading, but you're talking real, like the old yeah. original series. The red trim, yeah. Yeah. I think it, the Bible Bill should be gone. If you want to say that those two cars look alike, I I don't know what to tell you. I, I think Batmobile is off the board now. Yes. We should probably we should have to save Robbie from himself or else he's going to go triple Batmobile like Chief went triple nut. We're just going to have all Batmobiles by the end of the yeah, day. Yeah, this is a guy who doesn't have a strong board, so he just wants to take a bunch of Batmobiles. Right, look at this board. Look at it this makes board. sense. Fucking cheater. I only I only have one on there, so can I just say it? Yeah, WSD. Oh, you're the, WSD. The Dark Knight one oh. where he's like in the tumbler, like rolling through the streets of Chicago. To say that that's the same as that Batmobile is fucking insane. Like that, like Dave said, I don't think I'm saying that. Machine. I'm just saying it still belongs to the Batman. I like okay. Dave, the Batman. I like how he said that too, nice. Robert. The Batman. The Batman. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a villain. Eddie though. is Eddie. next Commissioner Gordon. <laughs> I like that. I think Eddie could play Commissioner Gordon. Thank you, Dave. I think he can too. WSD. Um, this one doesn't even have a name. It's one of my all-time favorite comedy movies. It, and if you guys try to veto me on this, I'll throw a fucking fit. Oh, no. I'm going with the Dumb and Dumber Mutt Mobile. Why? That, what's wrong with that? Oh, why would that be vetoed? It's not technically a car. That. It's a big-ass van. Oh, it's oh, like it's, I... Well, oh, yeah. What's the okay. Batmobile? That counts. I yeah. mean, Batmobile's a car. I so, I, I, okay. I, All right. Vehicle. I'm just making sure. I'm just M making sure. Mutt Cuts. Yeah, the Mutt yep. Cuts. Yeah. Uh, but it, that, that's the name of the company that he had. Dumb and Dumber Van. The Dumb and Dumber Van. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's what it was. That's actually that's what he said. The shagging wagon. Yeah. I, did, I completely forgot. Did he? He called it the shagging wagon. Yeah. Yeah. And then they he throws him the cheeseburgers in the back, and when he goes to uh, take him to the show, they got ketchup and mustard all over him. <laughs> yeah. But and then they when it fills up with gas too much. Yeah. It looks like the dog's pissing. It's and then, fucking pick it. Uh, yeah, the dog's the flap from the leg is lifted up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's great. Spent then, my entire life saving so turned my van into a dog. Great. <laughs> Great, uh, great subtle detail to a f great movie. Yeah. You know, just like well, they didn't have to put those dudes in a fucking stand that looked ass. like a dog. Yeah. <laughs> That's the genius of the Ferelli brothers. Yeah. Is that how you say it? Ferelli brothers? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Great pick. I, it's a good pick. It is. And I also like the van. Was it a bench seat in the front? That was, a, that was so. I had this thing that I did with my a buddy of mine growing up where we would try to find errors in movies. Yeah. And that was a thing that was an error in that movie. You can Google this too. Um, in the early scenes when he's throwing the shit back there, there was nothing there for him to sit on. And then it turned into a bench sheet later on without oh. any continuity. When the dogs are peeking their heads in yeah, and he's yeah, giving yeah. them the hot dogs and stuff, you yeah. know? There I was, didn't know you were such a continuity guy. It was, it was, I know, me we, we did it. A details guy. <laughs> we yeah. did it. Uh, for a small handful of movies, and Dumber Dumber was one of them. If you look in the scene when he gets fired and they're back drinking booze in the apartment towards the beginning of the movie, there's bottle caps all over the floor, and they keep moving whenever they switch to a different perspective. Just shit like that, and we would go and look for them in movies. I, Dumb and Dumber is the only one I remember we did, but no shit. we did it a few times. But, yeah, that was like a thing in the movie that changed. Makes sense because they threw the guy who has the heart attack or that ulcers. Yeah. 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 He had I, rat what, poison. Yeah, yeah, it was rat poison. Yeah. 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 <laughs> um, Dump a little Clump. rat poison, Shirley Temple. Uh, okay, so DeLorean was my one, and then I think there's a lot here. I think they're all like tier one or two. I'm going to just go personal, little Barada gang here. My first favorite movie of my life that I just absolutely loved and watched till like the tape was basically worn out was Ghostbusters, so I got to go yeah. with the Ecto-1. Uh, Fucking old hearse that they kind of repurpose looks cool as shit by the end of the movie when all the uh, you know all the bells and whistles are thrown on it. If you had ever played the video games, you know, just felt like you were you know a little bit of history. I think I actually had the like toy too growing up, so 
uh, Ghostbusters is it's it's still like works to this day. It's crazy how well it holds up. Like I mean, shit. At this point, it's forty years later almost. So uh, Ecto One Ghostbusters. It was on TV over the weekend. I love that movie. I haven't seen it in a minute. Didn't Bill Murray just get canceled? I swear, like no, he, very recently, he's, he's dating, dating the singer of Milkshake. Yeah, he's yeah. dating Khalees. Really? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's why he was in Headlines. Yeah. He's like sixty years older or something. Yeah. Oh, so people were just bitching about him. It's even a weird couple. Just, okay. Weird well, couple. Great pick. Yeah. That's a Mad Libs couple. It's like name, you know, actor, <laughs> at, you know, like celebrity one, celebrity two, like Bill Murray and Khalees who sang Milkshake. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's a good point. Um, and and the those... one is so good that when the new Ghostbusters came out, Afterlife, the first teaser was just like them ripping the cover off the car. Got goosebumps just thinking about Good it. Good point. Said that. And you hear like the little old music too. The ding, 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 flying. Oh. Good point. And they, the seats are jacked out so they could, you know, fight the ghosts. I like that. That's a good yep. feature of the Ecto-1. Yep. Ecto-1 was feature. the name. I think it's Cadillac. Is it? It, it was it? a hearse, right? It is, yeah. yeah. So I, I hearse are usually Cadillac Cadillacs. Miller Meteor. I think. That's yeah. beautiful. Great pick, Clem. Uh, Chief. All right, I'm taking uh, the Ferrari from Ferris Bueller. Yeah. So that I, to me, there was only two that I wanted in the first round. It was the DeLorean and the uh, the red uh, the red Ferrari from Ferris Bueller. So I'm glad it got to five. Uh, I think that is just like um, I like Robbie. I'm not a car guy. I feel like I've said that many times before. I don't know anything about cars. I know that car's cool. And uh, you know, like the scene where the, they like give it to the valet, they go on the joy ride, they're trying to run the miles off. It, it's like a great, it's like a central point of that movie and it's a it's a great car. And then it, I think that's right up in Lake Forest where they put it into that. Ravine. Yeah, that box. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What are you putting your finger up for? Uh, uh, we'll get there later on. Cameron's dad's Ferrari you're taking. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm not a car guy either. But when you watch that movie, they do such a good job building it up and his love affair, his dad's love affair with the car. Yeah. And then Ferris's like love affair. You're like, fuck, that car is awesome. And I'm I don't know anything about it. I didn't even know what it was until I looked it up for this draft. And I'm like, I want that car just because mm -hmm. it's so fucking awesome. Those guys joyriding the shit out of it all time. Yeah. Like the amount of that car meant to the movie was special. Oh yeah. There's a whole you know? plot. Yeah. 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 I mean a lot of it. Yeah. Big time. It was, you know, the like you said, the joyriding guys in the the shady parking garage. Yeah, like, yeah, no. <laughs> yeah. The only thing is, <laughs> they like peel out as soon yeah, as they walk exactly. away. Yeah, I don't. I know this is going to be like a weird question. This always confused me. Can it, you can't go negative distance even if you're going in reverse? Well, it didn't work in the movie either. It didn't. I no. Yeah, no. No. Yeah, it, that's why it didn't but, work. Yeah. The, the speedometer or odometer was going backwards, wasn't it? Because no. he knew what it was. No. no. It was it? They were right. like, it didn't no. work. But he said, like, we'll drive home backwards. So maybe that was a thing but back But they put in the it on the, on the cinder blocks or whatever. Right, I know. But it didn't work. They tried okay. to get it to go back. Right, but it didn't work. I so thought they like, left it up. Okay. Open. Guess I got to watch Ferris Bueller now. It's also interesting because that's the first car taken that really doesn't have any, like, significant features. It's just a car. No, you're right. right, right. Because it was yeah. part of the plot. Yeah. That's why it's good. And it's worthy of it, yeah. yeah. I mean, the scene where it tips over is also, like, just all time. The way it's shot yeah. and everything. Yeah. Where it just slowly goes and then yeah. through the glass. Like, that's perfect. Yeah. I wonder where that house is. The Home Alone it's house. It's up in Lake Forest. But does it is get it? a lot of it's love like, like the Home Alone house? Yeah, because I, I feel like it's, um like, we're actually right by Lake Forest College. Oh, so. really? Right up there, there, there's some kind of creek or something. There's all those little ravines all in around the camp. So I want to say, I want to say it's not far from the campus, but it doesn't get like the the love that you're talking about. Yeah. All but, right, second round, chief. Um, similar theme where there's no like discernible features that make it like a sci-fi car almost. Um, but I'm taking uh, the Lincoln from Entourage. So Johnny Dramas. Dude. What? I didn't think he was going to get drafted. I was going to take him in the fifth round because that I love that car. I love that car too. I also have a cousin um, who has only bought Lincolns his entire life. Like just like he's they're he's great cars. Probably forty five years old now. He's only had Lincolns, and um, and I just uh, that it's in the opening shot or opening mm -hmm. montage of every uh, every episode, the theme song, and it's just like a sweet looking car. Like it, to me, like that is a perfect. It's a L A <sighs> car. I don't think. I that I don't yeah, care about cars yeah. at and all. Johnny Drama like is obsessed with it. Yeah, yeah. That is yeah, exactly. the one like nah, classic man. car. If I had infinite money, that I would drop whatever it costs on. That car is so sweet, nice. and it's not even part of at in in any way. It's not a part of the plot of the show. 
Uh, no, no, drama talks about well, it quite a bit. I Turtle think, has to drive it, yeah. But they have like a thousand cars. It's not, you know. Yeah. But and that usually the one from the intro like. credits. Yeah. That's like the coolest car ever. That's I, I that would be my first choice of car if I could buy any car on earth. Really? It's a 65 wow. Lincoln. I just looked it up actually. Hmm. It's like a Bruce Wayne car to me. It's not just real slick. Yeah, 65 Lincoln. It's it's so sharp. You like this pick Clum? Yeah, I mean it's like like Chief said, it's just one of those things that when the guy the character likes it so much you almost like like it too. Yeah. And there's this actually just reminded me of another pick. I don't think it'll get drafted but i definitely think it's worthy of honorable dimensions um the same kind of thing with the car yeah i also, think it might be early for this pick i i agree with that i do agree with it that i think there's early. a lot of iconic iconic cars on the board yeah i'm not but these are i don't know these are the ones that i would they're your want picks, though. They're yeah. your picks your picks your board that's, you know yep we'll, you see how, left, we'll see how it plays out if you want to get left off the pole this gang, is gang, totally gang. up to you dang um drama's lincoln it's gone <laughs> What? I saw your phone and it just made me laugh because I hated those calls. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Um, Clem. So this one, I was kind of worried I was going to lose it. And there's another pick right below it that I really want, but I think I might get it back. So I'm going with this. It's not really a special car in terms of like the bells and whistles, like we said in the first round with a lot of these things. But my brain is so muddled. I don't even know where I saw this. I'm. 80% sure I saw this on a road and it fucking stopped me in my tracks. I think I saw someone driving a 1992 Ford Explorer with full Jurassic Park paint mm. on it. And I said, holy fuck, these guys just made a Jurassic Park car. And I I, I was stunned. It, it, I, I want that now. I want to get a, I can't imagine the gas mileage in a 1992 Ford Explorer is very good. Might not be practical with two, uh, two kids like I have. But man, it just puts you back in that movie and it it fucking rules. I don't know how else to say. Jurassic puts you Park directly in a T Rex's mouth is where it puts you. I mean, no, uh, none of the people that stayed in the car got eaten. No, there's two of them. Yeah, I know. They. Oh, you're right. I guess. Yeah, that guy went to take only a the shit. lawyer did. Yeah. yeah, he went to take <laughs> yeah. a shit. <laughs> gotta go. You gotta go. Yeah, exactly. The Good. quality this of the Ford Explorer kept him alive. Yeah, this was not yeah. making it back to you if you didn't take it okay. here, Clum. Good to know. Good to know. Yeah. The, yeah, the paint scheme is one thing, but then. The, the glass all top. glass top. Mm. Need it. Yep. Unbelievable yeah. touch. To look at really see the dinosaurs, oh, yeah. you know what I mean, Dave? Mm -hmm. um, Would you go to Jurassic Park paint scheme on the explorers than the Jeeps? Oh totally. 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 And I think I believe they did this in the new ones too, like they pulled the sheet off of it and it was awesome. Mm -hmm. It was one of the coolest parts in one of the newer Jurassic Worlds. Those were all so fucking bad I stopped even going out of my way to watch them. Second one's one of the worst movies. In a while, I've only the second seen one the first. is horrendous. They're I haven't seen so it The first one's watchable. It's, yeah, it's, it's, yeah, that's it's that's how watchable. it's watchable. But like, if I never saw it again, I wouldn't care. Yeah, first one's fine. Yeah, third one is. I not, refuse to not, watch it. Not great, but it's I not mean, awful. Two the, is you're awful. talking about the new ones, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, the second one is of the old duty. ones. Even this, like the Vince Vaughn one, ah, eh, whatever. Then the third one I thought was brutal. Third one stunk. Yeah, horrible. Did they even try to, like, they had so much to worry about with the graphics and how these animatronic dinosaurs looked. This was probably just a side thing that, like, yeah, those cars are cool. Throw them in. I don't think they yeah. realize how iconic the car they were making. Probably not. Yeah. They were yeah. supposed to just look like cheesy, I think, like amusement park. Well, yeah, because they're on a track. <laughs> Remember that? Like, they yeah. had to stay they're on electric. that track. Yeah. yeah. It was like a rail. So you get lots, you get great miles per gallon there. Yeah, I yeah. guess so. <laughs> It's until the electricity too, of the right? entire island dies and Newman has to go in and crank it back on. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's super, it is super nice. I would like to see the sales of, it was an Explorer? Yep. Sales of Explorers pre and post that Jurassic Park. And they don't look like this anymore, so. Yeah, I mean, the Bronco took a hit in the 90s right around this time, and the Explorer well, I, kind of filled in the gap for them. It's not tip picks here, okay? <laughs> <laughs> that is, I guess that is a TV show. From TV, TV, ain't it? Yeah, I guess so. Technically. <laughs> uh, White Sox, Dave. Uh, I'm going to go with the Bluesmobile. Yeah. Yeah. That was an easy one. Yeah. Uh, the floor is your really guys. There's one. nothing about the Bluesmobile that has been said on the show many times. I mean, it's I mean, cool. It's a squad car. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, really? 
Yeah, they they drive around Universal in it, blasting music on the top, and I think they actually give people rides too, because it looked like they were dropping some off like they were an Uber. Yeah, and there were two blue, Blues Brothers inside. It was you never know what you're gonna see in Universal. That was wild. That's pretty. There's awesome. this that pretty uh, cool. cover band back, and they only play once a year at the my hometown's Fourth of July fest. And until recently, the last five six years, I made it a point to go home for the Fourth and and watch this. But they're called the Booze Brothers. And they have a remake of this car, and they blast the music to the entire town for this Fourth of July party and festival through that that speaker. And any day you're driving by their house, it'll just be chilling in the in the driveway on any given day. It's pretty cool. Um, but sweet. Bluesmobile, good pick. Um, I'm just gonna make an admission here too. Don't want to get canceled on the uh, by the Chicago guys. I have not seen Blues Brothers, and I know I can't watch it for the first time on any show because I'm pretty sure it's like your Bible there. So I'm gonna I, have to watch I'm it on my own. Necessarily, own it's one of the more famous movies set in Chicago. Yeah, it's top three most iconic. Oh, definitely. Yeah, definitely. I would. I watched it as a kid, and then I hadn't watched it for forever. And then I watched it like for the first time as an adult during COVID, and I enjoyed it. Yeah. I think it's still kind of yeah, yeah. It's long. Yeah, it yeah, is. It's really long. It's like two and a half hours. I think you'd like it, Clem. Yeah. You'd, Clem would definitely, Clem would like it for sure. Robbie would like it. It's one of those movies that you like, you you can tell oh, that. I've seen it, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. It just, it, it's a very 80s movie. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'd like to see Belushi in his prime. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it that's it. Uh, Robbie, you're up. I'm going to take the epitome of cool, a car I actually saw in person in L.A., 1964 Aston Martin, James Bond, Goldfinger. So fucking hot. It does hot. not get. It does not get hotter than that. Mm -hmm. Exactly. It is the coolest in terms of like spy cars. Come on, that's the top. Yeah. Yeah. This I was doing research, and this was at the top of like every list. I'm just not a Bond guy. Like, I don't I think I've him. seen. You do. I've seen. What's the most recent uh, Daniel Craig? I might not have seen the last one or two no, of them, no but I've seen to die. Skyfall. I've seen Skyfall. Uh, I've seen every Bond movie. Maybe not the last one or two. I've seen Skyfall though. Um, I love James Bond. I got my addiction from the video game, so I was kind of backwards. Um, but it's it's the hottest car on earth. It's so hot. I'd put it up there with the Entourage car. It's honestly, it's cool. It's sleek. It's, yeah, it's kind of tiny. Right. Like everything yeah. about it is like very unique and, and sweet looking, mm -hmm. yeah. Looks sharp. Yep. I always get scared to say it, because is it Aston Martin? I always say I'm gonna say like Aston Martin, and then some car person's gonna like beat me up because I said it wrong or something. I do think there's car people listening to this who are like, how the fuck did that make it to the end of the second round? Right? Oh yeah. Is, cause like, all right, Chief, myself and Robbie have all said, not car guys. Dave, Eddie, are you guys car guys, or are we just five no, car no, guys? No, no, I don't, I don't. Oh, okay, all right, I good. I, I kind of like the way this is going. Then I feel like we'll get some, some more fun picks. But this car, when I saw it on the list, I'm like, oh, that's like a car guy's car. I, I didn't even make my board because I it means nothing to me. And I like Bond movies. I actually don't like the car chase scenes in Bond movies, which might be kind of a hot take. I'm just not a car chase guy in any movies really. So I like the all the other like cliche stuff that they go through. I just the car stuff does nothing for me. Huh. Probably gonna get like parts Twitter mad at me now. I'm gonna just get roasted. Fuck. <laughs> if if That's there's okay people Twitter that mad at you, though. I don't trust car people. Yeah, can we just say it? I don't trust car people either, Robbie. Well, it's just the people who like who call it their baby and stuff. You know, that's yes. that's the ones who go they go a little, a little far. You know, Ed has like a cover for his Tesla, that's so every day he yeah, like tucks guy. it in before he comes yeah, in I got the, the office. I got the aluminum uh, windshield thing too. I got to put that on there. Yeah. Too. That's actually not a bad plane this summer. Does though. it have a design on the front that looks like like a cartoon character sitting in your front seat or something? Nope, does not. He, he, Oh. Well, last time I was in Chicago, he kept calling about he's talking about Tara, Tara. I thought I was like, "Is Tara your sister or something?" He's like, "No, that's what I call my car." I was like, you "Are fucking you fucking serious? <laughs> Tara Tesla?" Uh, <laughs> he tried. This turned into a big fight in the office. Like when he got the Tesla, he tried to not let me park next to it. This you guys are such liars. <laughs> this is so did wrong. Not park next to the car. Yeah, he didn't want me to park next to it. I just get he parked in with like the divider going right down the middle of the yeah. Tesla between I just two get spots. Fucking smoke. I heard he doesn't show. let Danny look at it. Yeah, Danny doesn't get to look at it. <laughs> They're neighbors, and Ed's never given him a ride home because he won't let Danny in it. This is. Up, man. This I've only been in it once, and it was the pickup pizza for Portnoy. <laughs> 
This is bullshit. <laughs> so I, he was like, his his hand was forced. Yeah. All right, I'm making my pick before this goes any further. All right, but before we finish the draft, I want we want to take a break to talk to you about an awesome, awesome event and an awesome partnership, Barstool Sports and Bolero. Uh, Bolero is the world's largest owner and operator of bowling centers. They have a 325 throughout the United States. They're in 34 different states. Bolero is known for reinventing one of America's oldest pastimes into a new, unforgettable experience with the modern uh, and beautifully de designed venues, expansive arcades, premium signature cocktails, and a creative menu. Bolero is the perfect spot for a night out, whether you're celebrating a birthday, feeling competitive, or just want to have a good time. Bolero is the go-to destination for an unforgettable uh, and bold experience. Now, it gets even better. Bolero and Barstool Sports are partnering up. We're having the Barstool uh, Invitational, the Bolero Barstool Invitational starting July 12th, uh, and participation is open until July 23rd. Everybody loves bowling. Bowling is like the best, most slept on night out ever. I love bowling, you love bowling, and now you can do it with Barstool through this. So joining the Invitational is easy. Enter your name and visit any Bolero near you and both your chance to be entered into uh, to win one of our ultimate prizes, including the limited edition Barstool Bowling Gear, an event at any Bolero, uh, tickets to the Super Bowl and the NBA Finals, and a trip to the Barstool Bolero Invitational Finale in Chicago right here, August 9th, this summer. There's no skill required. All participants have an equal chance of winning, so just sign up, come on out, have a great time. I'm sure we'll be at that event August 9th. That is, to me, bowling. Bowling in Chicago, one of the uh, underrated things about it great air conditioning bolero's got that it's going to be a great time out so to find a participating center near you go to bolero.com slash barstool that's how you find the location and again you're going to want to enter that invitational it's not like you have to be rolling perfect games you're gonna who do you think you are i am you don't have to be that good you just have to go there sign up everybody's got a good chance to win so again bolero.com slash barstool for your chance to enter it's going to be a great time so there's three I want, but I only got two slots. You make a trade ad if you want to trade down to the four pick. You can do that. <laughs> I got to give the DeLorean that. I like your two though. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna go Wayne's World. I'm gonna take the Mirthmobile. It's so fucking <laughs> stupid. It's so stupid. But it's so <laughs> iconic. Um, they have a replica of this in the Hollywood Casino in Aurora. Mm -hmm. Yes, and I remember talking to them because they were like. I think they're at one point tinkering, like getting not maybe not getting rid of it or changing the theme. And I was like, if you guys ever get rid of that, we are putting that in the office. <laughs> so imagine just the yes. Mirthmobile just chilling. I here. have the GM of of that casino's number. Uh, oh, you met you did meet him. You yeah. met him at the Sox game, and um, I didn't know they were thinking of getting rid of it. So I'll text him as soon as we're this out. This was here. before he was even there. So it was it was like they haven't gotten rid of it yet. So. It's, well, it's going in the office. Oh, like I will put my foot down it, and it is yeah. going in the office. One hundred percent should. He said someone broke into it once, and then like stole the like the cassettes that are on. Oh. The dash. Yeah. <laughs> you want to hear? This is kind of a tangent, but at the <laughs> at the classic this weekend, they have the uh, what what do you, what are the the pins that where you tee off? What are they called? The the, the boxes, tea box. tea yeah, boxes. the tee boxes, yeah. yeah, the boxes. They have uh, barstool ones that they put up there instead of the little, you know, red or blue golf balls, and people kept stealing them. So they started hooking up GPSs to them and knocking on people's doors, not physically, but oh they would like God, contact the people awesome. knowing where they were because they have all their info and everything. Yeah, have you guys, have you guys ever seen the videos of people who like if there's packages being stolen in a particular area, they'll set up like a glitter bombed package with GPS tracking and a GoPro in it. And then they just open it and they're like the thieves steal the package off someone's front porch, open it in their car, and it's just like a fan full of glitter. That's everywhere. awesome. I love that. It's awesome. That's is that's the perfect vigilance. I've never seen that, but I've I would never like seen to it either. Yeah. That sounds like something I'd watch a lot of. Send that video over here, please. Yeah. yeah. I will. It's so satisfying. I love that we can uh, put GPS trackers in our T box markers, yet we can't get working internet at our office. That is an internet company, <laughs> amazing company we work for, fellas. Amazing. Well, not blaming anybody in particular. Does anyone dislike the Mirthmobile? No, nah, it's great. No, oh, Mirthmobile is an amazing pick, and arguably one of the most early. one of the most iconic scenes from that series when they're all singing in the car. Um, the 
what's the name of that band, Dave? Why am I blanking? I'm having a bad Queen. 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 Yeah. Thank you. Queen. Thank you. Yeah, that's like a great scene. Yep. So it is, and it just I, fits so well. Mm-hmm. Like that's the car they should have. Yep. And they perfectly did that. If I went to the Chicago office and it was too crowded, like can't get a seat, like it is in New York half the time. And the mirth mobile was there. I just pop a squat in like the driver's seat and just like work from there for the day. It would be awesome. Like now that I'm thinking about it, like the people at Penn Casino should be like, "Hey, Barstool guys, what do you would you want like to see in a casino that is like a local thing?" And we would say the mirth mobile at some point, right? Like they got to bring yeah. those things into those casinos to draw people. Man, that's a great call. Yeah, I feel like we should reach out to what's the uh, what's the car company, the rental car company that has like or the they have like the tower that has like a car at every level that we should be able to pick all the iconic Chicago Chicago cars and be like on the top level, we want the Ferris Bueller one. Then we want all the Chicago themed, the blues mobile, the mirth, the mirth mobile. Yeah. 1976 AMC Pacer. It was pretty. There's another, there's a lot of Chicago. You guys are like the home of classic cars. As I'm just looking at the list I have here, plus all the ones we drafted. Like I guess people, so. You got Detroit is going to be on your ass after this dog walk. <laughs> no, I'm saying just like the characters. Like, yeah. Like yeah. Ferris Bueller is, is yeah. this and Blues Brothers. Because I'm about to take another one right now. And I'm taking Clark Griswold Station Wagon. Dude. That's it. That's the one I said. Oh, shit. That's a Chicago one, too. Are these on your list? Why? You didn't think I'd have it? I was going to take that with my next pick again. I was going to take that. I was going to save Honor Rush Car for last because I thought that was... but. I, that's all you. I mean, you can have that. That's your car. You know, a station wagon is one of those things that is like a staple of the of, of the decades of the 80s and the 90s. Right? Yep. Did you the have wood, one? The wood panel. Yeah, we did. We didn't yeah. have the wood panel. We had one though. Yeah. We had a wood panel on a minivan, but like the wood panel. Like who? What? Co- what car company was making that? Where were they? All? We had a Ford station wagon. Okay. Was it Oldsmobile? Maybe it was more than one. I, I don't. I, I. This was like the first car I remember being in. It was my like mom's maybe minivan. A Chrysler. Is it Chrysler? Ford, maybe. I had one too. I'm trying to figure out if uh, mine was a Chrysler because I'm looking at it and holy shit, that just took me back to like 1988. Looking at it, here. <laughs> Chrysler wood panel van, and that's at least the one that I had growing up. Something about that bench looking out to the back, the people behind you. <laughs> Was great. Oh, that you yeah, know? that was great. Was too. waving to the people. Oh, that, the I think here. they had to get rid of that because it was like a big safety issue. Oh, yeah. Every time you got rear-ended, it's like, well, they're getting a face full of glass. Fucking dead. Yeah, yeah. Lost Robbie, our eighth kids of the year here of like the last uh, decade, basically. Because yeah, I, I don't know how they ever let kids sit in. There. It was a different time, the eighties and nineties. Yeah, yeah. Rob, are you uh, familiar with the station wagon? I am. I'm not a family vacation guy. I, I've talked about it with Clem on the podcast. It makes him a little upset because I'm not. I'm not a family uh, Christmas vacation guy. The movies just don't hit for me. <laughs> I missed out on them. It's okay. That's okay. Yeah. But... Wait, you've never seen them, or you just don't like them? Big difference. Like I've seen the Christmas one, you know, around the holidays. I've seen bits and pieces of the other one. I haven't really sat down and watched them start to finish. Uh, for some reason, people hate Vegas Vacation, and I think it's the funniest one. I like one. Vegas it's Vacation. Great. I love that movie. Cousin yeah. Eddie's my favorite. He's like my best friend. <laughs> <laughs> you want to say nope. your line? Nope. Okay. Why? Maybe after the polls come out and I dust all you losers. Okay. Um, the, right, funny yeah. thing, the funny thing about the station wagon is I'm pretty sure Clark wants like something like a little fancier. I don't remember what it is. And then they, he kind of gets stuck with the station wagon. But it's the perfect dad car. The perfect it's like Clark the Griswold car, yeah. In the, in the 80s, yeah. Doesn't it, and he doesn't even like fight for it. He's just like, all right, I guess yeah. it's my car now. Doesn't it get like uh, like the hubcap stolen on the way out of town too? He's yeah, in East St. Louis. I think oh, that's East yeah, St. Yeah, yeah, Louis. Yeah. Okay, mm-hmm. I was wondering if that was in Chicago because yeah, I'd be like, like hey, oh, that's so fucking realistic. And just, yeah. Like, yeah, as he's driving, gets it all jacked. Um, but yeah, just like the wide shots of him cruising down interstates and seeing all the shit piled on top of the car yeah. and the Christmas tree on top of the car, it's all it's all good stuff. When Give he sees that, too. honey, he had some he had some nice car sex with Christy Brinkley. Oh right? yeah, he is, he's, yeah. he's lugging a fucking uh, station wagon there and he's keeping up, you know, bit for bit with her in a sports car. So oh, yeah. Ben had some. I think the kids call it Riz. Is that is that what they call it, Rob? Yep. Nice. Rizzed up Christy Brinkley. Clark Griswold rizzed up Christy Brinkley in the family station wagon. Where did that word come from? I hate it. I, 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 I know where it came from. The, the youth. Charisma. 
charisma. That's oh. what it stands for. Dave Portnoy told it to the BFFs. I saw a clip a lot ago. I now know what Riz means. So this was like a, like six months ago. That's mm. huge. All right, uh, Robbie, you're back up. I'm excited about this pick. I was hoping that this one would fall down to me. This one reminds me of my childhood so much. And with my first two picks, I got two kind of like cutthroat, badass cars that I could never even picture myself in. My third pick, I'm going a very welcoming car. The Mystery Machine Fuck. from Scooby-Doo. Yeah. I love the Mystery Machine. The live action Scooby-Doo movies I loved. The cartoon I loved. I loved when it showed up in Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back. Just an amazing, amazing car with an amazing design and paint job. Yeah, so I said there were three that I wanted. This was the third one. So um, one thing, the, re the thing that kept me away from it is what everyone always says, that I must have smelled like hell. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Why, because the dog yeah. lived in there? With the yeah. dog. Two dogs. The weed. Shaggy. <laughs> Um, and I'm telling yeah. you, there was there was some uh, there was some extracurriculars going on between a couple of the guys. Like, let's just be honest. Like, sooner or later, uh, what's that guy Fred? He definitely him and uh, they what's banged. The redhead's name? Yeah, they bang. There yeah. was banging going on. There's smoking. There's dog stuff going on. Ooh, that yeah, that car smells fucking awful. A hundred percent did. Um, but it's a good pick. A, a great color scheme. Great paint job. You don't Still like good. it? The flowers. No, on it was the on side. my list. Looks like straight out of Woodstock. Yeah, I, I, it's a hippie car. I yeah. love it. It is the hippie car. Oh, actually, there was a fucking, at the Dead Show, did you hear about this? A dude in a, a Volkswagen van dressed up like the mystery machine just starts, he was shit-faced after the concert. He took this van there and just started fucking drilling other cars on Clark or Addison or whatever. Jesus Christ. After the, yeah. Jesus. So mystery machine had, had its name sullied a couple weeks ago in Chicago. I was gonna you say three. twisted metal with it. Yeah. yeah. What a I was game. gonna say three I... cheese should have their own mystery machine. Like, hey, the three cheese mystery machine, come get some stuff, you know? Like that's kind of what I would link it to, but this guy just ruining the good name. It's Can't good vibes, that. man. What the fuck? Can't have that. White Sox, Dave. <sighs> I've got my next pick stolen the three times already. Um Can I go with Optimus Prime? Ooh. Robbie. So here's the thing. I think I think you can, but he's gotta be truck form on the graphic. That's you have fine. to be drafting the truck form That's, of him. Yeah, of course. You can't well, have I mean, robot Optimus Prime. Yeah, that that's fine. And it has to be Shia LaBeouf in it. I don't hate those movies. <laughs> and I hate him too, and I'm on I the same him. page. He's a douche and he has a punchable face and I hate him. But I, I like those movies generally. And he's, I think, a pretty fucking good actor. But I think the first I, one's pretty good. Yeah. I, I I know there's a billion of them now, but I don't know if I've seen them all. But, um, I mean, Optimus Prime, that that predates by 20-something years. When did, when did Transformers start? Mid-80s? Uh, the actual, like... The cartoon think, yeah. and the toy, the toy action figures and stuff. I, I remember them when I was a kid, so I probably loved when early, I was a kid, at least yeah. the early 90s. Yeah, you guys agree that you could you could draft him if you draft in the truck. I'll I will. It's defer, a truck. That's, I'll defer to you because I'm just not the biggest transformer guy. So that's fine it's with technically me. a truck, like a like a semi truck. Yeah. Oh yeah. I've seen I've seen the first Shia LaBeouf one. So now now I'm recalling. Yeah. I mean I'm fine. Clem looks like he disagrees. It was my next pick. Like, oh. I thought I had him. I thought Optimus was coming home. He was going to hang with the Ecto One in Jurassic Park. I already had Mystery Machine Dumb written was in. Having a blast. Damn it. Do you uh, have any problem with it, Chief? No. Okay. Optimus Prime is yours. Clem. All right. Now we're going to some weird shit. Shit I don't believe in. Shit I don't really know much about. Let's just have some fun. Fuck it. We're going with the Bluth Stair Car from Arrested Development. Let's just have ourselves a fucking ball here. <laughs> I have no idea what you're board. talking about, but I've never seen that show. I'm sure. Mm, nor have I. Yeah. It's one of those things that's that, the airport car where you drive oh. right up to a plane. It's got the stairs on. It. Okay. Yeah. Oh no shit. <laughs> he drives it like on the road. They drive around. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And every time All right, I like the show already. Yeah. yeah. It's it's one of the best shows it's, ever. It's, it's it's what, what did you call it, Clem? It's the uh, well, the name of the family is the Blues, so it's the Blues Stair Car. I don't know what else to how else to describe it. So it's yeah, the airplane stair car. 
That sounds very funny. It I does. can't believe none of you guys are Arrested Development guys. No. I know it's a show that I would yes. like. And I remember when they, they rebooted yeah. it not that long ago, right? They Yeah, on Netflix, they, like yeah. maybe 10 years ago. Oh, it was 10 years ago was the reboot? I was in high school when they did it. Oh, fuck. So we're getting God there. damn it. All right. Uh, let's just move on because that bummed me out. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I'm sure I would like it. I'm sure, and that like even your description of them driving that around is making me laugh. Yeah, so, is. yeah. Boys, I'm, I, I say this with only a few shows. Give it one episode, and you'll be hooked. So, like, really? you find time this week to just get one episode in. And there's so many little jokes. I could watch it tonight and laugh about ten things I missed the first time, and you guys will laugh at all the whatever you pick up the first time as well. And there's just so many little, just incredible nuggets. You you've seen all the gifts, I'm sure, throughout the years on Twitter and stuff. You're like, oh, that's what that's from. It is, I mean, it might be, I don't know, what would you say, Robbie, like top five to ten funniest show for like those first three seasons. Then once Netflix like rebooted it, the actors had like blown up by that point. So getting them on schedules was tough for the fourth season. And then it just kind of like, it was one of those things like Friday Night Lights where it was like a victim of uh, ratings. And then it kind of just like poo-pooed at the end. Yeah. Well, I'll give it a shot. I know everybody says it's up my alley. Chief, you're up. I only have two picks that I actually care about left. So um, I'm going to take the Plymouth, David Spade's Plymouth in Tommy Boy. Oh, that's good. So, you know, nice. and it starts out, like the first scene, like, hey, like, don't get any dirt in here. Like, watch it with the M&Ms. The M&Ms go down like the air filter. And like, by the end, he's got, got like a side a, mirror ripped off at the gas station. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> like the hood flies off. He's got like a, a wooden gate on like the driver yeah. for the driver's side door. It's just like absolutely beat the shit. I haven't seen that movie in a while. That I think that like the just like the every every time they drive the car like something happens to it, um, so I don't know. I love I love that car. I love that movie. Uh, so I I believe it's a Plymouth. I looked it up before, but I don't know what what type of uh, I guess I could look that up now. What'd you do when the yeah. car comes off? <laughs> What'd yeah. you do? Yeah, <laughs> trying to frame him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so it's a 1967 Plymouth satellite convertible is what it, the internet says. That's, I want to get a car like that. Like, that's not too dissimilar to the Entourage car. It's just a sweet, classic car. Yeah. It's a good one. It probably gets three miles to the gallon, but whatever. Nice leather seats. The shift, like, you got to crank on the thing instead of pull the middle console to mm-hmm. put it in gear. You crank on the thing on the ceiling? No, no. It's in... Like back then, instead of having the uh, shift knob in between the two front seats where you just pull it back, you know, it used to be on the side of the steering wheel. I had a car like that. That's how fucking do they old don't I make any yeah. cars like that. I don't anymore? think they do. From your yeah, gotcha. Yeah, that makes I've seen some. a couple yeah, that, that you just have to twist a knob now. Actually, Sydney's truck is like that. Yeah. You just twist a knob in the front. Hmm. Yeah, I've seen that. Hmm. And now I feel like I don't even really care about this one. I'm gonna draft but my my list of cars that i care about is pretty well, why don't you you said you had two aren't you? yeah but like compared to that one i don't care about this one oh. like hardly at all but i'll take the greased lightning car that's just a movie that i like mm. um where they they have its own song they fix it up in the garage or sing it in their dance and they race it at the end Go i think it flies at the end ding, ding, so i could ding, race ding, ding, ding. i could race ed uh because the delorean flies too uh but yeah the greased lightning car so Whatever. It's not like my favorite, but it is like a movie that I like. So Grease Lightning. I don't even know if that's its real name. No, that's a great pick for all the moms out there. Yeah. Yeah. No, nah, not just the moms. I love Grease too. You don't like Grease, Tommy? I like Grease too, but it's it's a mom movie. It's Tommy. I don't know. Robbie. I don't know why I just called you Tommy. I was thinking Tommy smokes for a second, but you don't like Grease. We were saying Jimmy and Timmy before. No, yeah. I love Grease. Okay. But it's a mom movie. Let's be honest. It's a mom movie. That's Yeah, that's fair. I suppose. I think it's a good pick. Clem, is that a good pick? I think so too. It's on my board. The chief pick. We're happy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you like back. to yeah. just? I don't even know if Clem really believes that, but he likes to just have Eddie throw him little alley oops and then dunk on it. Dwayne Wade and LeBron. Right That's true. Yeah. <laughs> he called my boy Robbie the wrong name. Too. I know. Like, I, I fucked up. Him. I'm sorry. Can't I'm just having, said a, I'm having a bad day. brain day. It's a sunburn. <laughs> uh, Clem. Again, this is, I didn't know where I was going and the way this is all broken, but I'm kind of, I'm going to go with the heart here as well. Like, again, let's get some fucking uh, vehicles here that could do some weird shit. 
I'm taking the magic school bus, boys. Me and the Ooh. Frizz, Miss Frizzle, we're gonna get fucking. <laughs> we're going to human body. Maybe visit some dinosaurs. Bring my Jurassic Park car with me. Go to fucking uh, Jupiter. I don't know. Where we're gonna go today. Where we're gonna go today. Magic school. Anything goes in the magic school bus. You guys know the rules. So uh, we'll go with the magic school bus. Do your kids watch it? They do not. But um, I've said like at least three different times, like, oh, we got to watch the Magic School Bus with them. They rebooted it, um, I think, like a few years ago. I, I think I blogged it. And Miss Frizzle's younger, and let's be honest, we, we're in a, the trust right here, hot sister is in it. And uh, it's, 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 something. it's something. Is she redheaded too? Yep. Yep. I'm in. <laughs> you like a good redhead? Babe? I like redheads too. I love redheads. Yeah. I like McConaughey kind of and Daisy McCon- Confused. Love them redheads. <laughs> We got to show AJ Clem an episode, and if he likes it, it's a good pick. If he dislikes it, then it's a terrible pick. I, I will show him today or tonight, and I will report back with an honest review from him. <laughs> good. Good. Um, so it's a good outside-the-box pick. It's got the name recognition. Definitely. It's got, you know. But at the end of the day, is it? I guess it is the magic school bus. But it's just a school bus. Mm-hmm. But it's a magic But it's a magic bus. school bus. Eddie, every other pick basically in this draft is just a car. This one's actually magic. Like yours does go back in time. Mine could go back in time. Could go inside a body. Can go to another planet, another dimension, travel universes, whatever you want. It's magic. True. True. And that song too. It's the magic school bus. You guys yeah. remember that? Oh yeah. yeah. Good song. Yeah. Vaguely. Song. Is time travel technically magic though? No. He took Glenn Gullius. That's true. Yeah. That's true. That's right. No, I did yeah. That's right. What, did he drive that to cheat on um, Julia? He Many drove times. He to cheat on, and then he punched Rob. Yeah, and then he punched him in the face. Yeah. 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 Disgusting. Ooh, Great A Sick top up. choice. Meat. That's what. That's what Ed says. Him and Glenn Gould. <laughs> <laughs> tried two weeks ago. <laughs> I tried ten days ago. I think it was. Uh, Younger Sox, and hotter. <laughs> um, I only got two left on my list. You guys can make fun of me, the Charger from Dukes of Hazard, and on to the next pick. <laughs> <laughs> Why should we make fun of you? Oh, it's got some uh, paraphernalia Through, on the, it. Make sure the graphic is the away from the car? front view. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry? No. I don't know what I'm, you said. I'm happy. No, it's top view. I'm happy it's this wasn't be drafted. It's top view graphic. <laughs> I'm happy this wasn't drafted during the Battle of the Titans, or else this might have went away that uh, I did not want to talk about. <laughs> Rico on board. You know, the Clash of the Titans. The Clash of the Titans. Yeah. Can we can we get phone a friend like it's a dozen and get Rico on here to to a pine on the charger from call him Dukes right of now. Hazard? I'll call the him. General is it the General Lee? It is, is called the General Lee. And it has the horn. Da, 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 da. That's all I know about Dukes. I never watched Dukes of Hazard. And it has the great uh, theme song too. That's all I know. And Daisy Duke. That's all. Yeah, Jessica Simpson. I think I know everything about the fucking across the hood. This is the all right. I just typed in Rico into my phone, and I got Rico Bosco. Obviously, I had no idea where this comes from. Then I got Rico Chicago Police. Hmm. We're gonna call Rico Bosco. Are you under a Rico investigation? Maybe. Do you even know what a Rico investigation is? Yeah, it's. Can you call the the cop after this? I kind of want to hear what the cop has has to say about the uh, car too. Bosco. And put it on top of the microphone. He hung up on me. He hung up on me. <laughs> that had to be a mistake. Bosco, what are you doing? You're on the snake draft. All right, what's up? Um, we need your opinion on the Charger from Dukes of Hazard, the car. What do you think about it and Robert E. Lee and generals and all that stuff from the South and the Confederacy? You can let Ed, Ed have it. Uh, Whistling Dixie. I don't know. It wasn't really my thing, the car. I don't know. The car is... Did you just get back from the gym or something? I'm not a car guy. Well, I mean, we're not talking about the car per se. We're talking about the symbolism on the car. Uh, It's pretty problematic, right? (laughs) Did you call Rico or Siri? What is this guy doing? (laughs) Rico, show a little oomph. Come on, give it to me. I mean, you spent yesterday, didn't you FaceTime people like as a trap? No, no, no. You're actually on the snake trap today. This isn't a trap. (laughs) It's pretty problematic. (laughs) And? Dave wants him to start talking about states' rights. Yeah, we're not. Gonna, we're not going to talk about states' rights. I don't know. <laughs> All right. All right. Never Rico, mind. thank you. Thank you, Rico. He didn't seem like he was a fan of the Charger from Dukes of Hazzard. I'm not either. Very. Pro- I kind of think Dave should just be voted off for this. This is a very problematic pick. 
I'm yeah. basing it off its fame, not well, what it represents. It's hard to separate them. Dave's, Dave is going to get a lot of votes from a certain part of the country, which could be a problem for us. If, uh, Brandon <laughs> Walker is going to juice the polls for me. <laughs> uh, Robbie, you're up. This is tough. I can't believe you guys don't have that many picks. Currently on my board, I have so I have six picks that I'd really like to get, which is tough because I only have two left. Clint, really? will you send me his draft gonna, board? Yeah, let me get it. Let me get it for you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go with kind of i maybe kind of an outside the box one but it's a classic the pussy wagon from kill bill that i've actually never seen kill bill uma thurman is dr- dr- I, right on the back it just says pussy wagon yeah i know what you're talking about i've seen kill bill it's probably my least favorite tarantino movie i didn't like it at all oh wow i know i'm well, like I'm the huge kill bill, extreme extreme volume outlier one, volume. volume two is good as well but oh the pussy wagon seems kind of legit just just a macaroni colored car yeah truck <laughs> i like that i think lady gaga and beyonce used it in a music video once too oh so really? you've never seen kill bill no i haven't yeah, me neither i haven't climb i've seen kill bill but it was like in pieces i never saw and i like tarantino i just it was one of those things that never uh, right. happened but i mean it's hard to beat a car that it gets your attention right Oh, oh, the pussy wagon just pulled yeah. in. Ears perk up. Uh, throw that in a casino if we want. I think that'll get some tourists in. Check it out. So, yeah. I... <laughs> Great name, right, Dave? The name... I think about this regularly. Okay. Whether it's the actual scientific name for either sex's genitalia or a, like a slang term for them. They all kind of gross me out. Like the word "pussy" is just kind of a gross word. Yeah, I don't like the word. Either. Vagina, penis, gross words. No, that's such a. <laughs> yeah. I feel the same way about vagina about... and penis are a bit gross. Yeah, yeah, you know what I mean. They're just kind of icky I, words. I feel yeah. that way about boobs. Like there's no good, there's no good word for boobs. I like tits. Tits can be a little vile, though. I know, <laughs> yeah. but tits is like. A, I don't know. Teeters the edge. Like if I was talking to a girl, I wouldn't want to like be like, "Oh, your tits." You, what well, up, breasts? You, yeah, yeah, but you, breasts breasts aren't chemistry. like vile enough. Yeah, exactly. So yeah, that's yeah, what yeah. I mean. There's if you, no if you like if, that's scientific. Yeah. Say a girl's got breasts. like a stain on her shirt on her boob. So you can't you can't say, "Hey, you got a little stain on your breasts." You'll come off as the biggest square of all time. It's a combo from Popeyes. Yeah, you know, it's like yeah, yeah. You're not. <laughs> no sexual connotation. Mm. I heard some guys say jugs. Jugs. Jugs are kind of like that. Uh, it makes me uncomfortable every time. <laughs> what about sweater hams? <laughs> it's like that. I don't like that either. When, when guys right. start talking that one like makes that, me laugh a little bit. Like, sweater hams. Like, sweater look hams. at the sweater hams on her. Look at, the, look at those sweater puppies. I don't want. Yeah, I don't want. I don't want like to go too deep on this because I do want to draft that someday. So <laughs> let's, let's wait. See. wait let's, what? <laughs> just <laughs> slang words? Yeah. Yes. It's well, on the list. Well, it's on the list. Oh, that's I why I, I didn't say my favorite I one know, intentionally. Yeah, so so I'm just censoring everyone. Mm-hmm. Um, all right, the pussy wagon's off the board. It's to me. All right, we're going to take a quick break. I want to talk to you guys about the event that we've been talking about. Everybody's been talking about it for like three years. The NASCAR street race in downtown Chicago. It doesn't get any cooler than that. It's here, July 1st and 2nd. It is officially race week in Chicago. The biggest names in NASCAR will battle on Sunday, July 2nd for 100 laps in the NASCAR Cup Series inaugural event, Grant Park 220. Drivers will be tested on unprecedented 12-turn Chicago street course running through the iconic Grant Park. It's going to go Balbo, uh, Michigan, Lakeshore, Columbus Drive, and then it's also a music festival. So they have a two day music festival featuring the Chainsmokers, Miranda Lambert, the Black Crows, Charlie Crockett. Those are big, big names. It's going to be a big, big party. You're going to want to be there. So it's the Chicago Street Race, July 2nd. It's going to be on, if you can't make it, it's 5.30 Eastern uh, on NBC, 4.30 here in Chicago. Uh, it's, it's incredible. So just check it out. We're all going to be there. We're all going to have a great time. Summertime in Chicago. We'll see you out at the NASCAR event. Yeah, I love this movie. So I got to go with the Burger Mobile from Good Burger. It was actually in, it was for sale a couple of years ago. That would be a great thing to have. I don't know if anyone's a Good Burger guy here. Nope. I know you guys probably aren't. 
Oh, of course. I remember like the skit from that show, but I never saw the movie. The Keenan and Kel. What show were they on on Nickelodeon? All that. Yeah. 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 All that. Mm -hmm. Welcome to the Good Burger, home of the Good Burger. May I take your order? Yeah. He delivers it to Shaq at the Staples Center at the nick of time. Mm -hmm. He's just cruising through the L.A. streets in the Burger Mobile. They're making a sequel right now. Yeah. You know that? Mm -hmm. I did. I'm worried about it. I mean, yeah. not, not that it was some sacred thing that can't be tainted. It's fucking piece good burger. of fine art. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but at the same time, I just hope it's worthwhile. That's all. I just want to laugh a couple times. The writer strike isn't helping your cause, Ed. I'm going to tell you that right now. You don't think so? You don't no, believe in the scabs? So. We're on the verge of an actor strike too. Yeah. Really? Oh shit. Jesus, really? Yeah, I think they're allowed to go on strike like at the end of the, the month. They just have to wait till like June 31st. And if the deal's not met, they're going on strike next. Is it just one studio? How, how can like... They should wait for football season. That would be nice of them. Yeah. <laughs> that would be really nice of them. It's the Actors Guild. That That's just like the WGA, I think. Ah. Uh, well, okay, okay, so there's... Uh, all right. Like the screenwriter. Okay. I don't uh, know how that shit works. That's not like people in California not to want to work, right? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Go fucking up. figure. <laughs> Go fucking figure. Looking for more government handouts, right? All right. 45 um, wouldn't have ever yeah. let that strike right. happen. All right. All right. Okay. Good burger. <laughs> um, Good burger. Are you, did you see it, Clem? I still have not seen it. My kids randomly saw it somewhat recently, and they were saying, welcome to Good Burger, home of the Good Burger. And it resonated with them. So, uh, But it was after my time yeah it was definitely after my time so uh but i mean the way you youths talk about it it's fucking it definitely struck a chord because oh, they get yeah. brought up and it yeah it goes crazy the hood is a burger uh, okay yeah and this is keenan from uh, like SNL wagon. or whatever right yeah yes yeah i he's he's been I, I think there was a like a stat recently he's like the longest running tenured member of as an sl his yeah or something like really uh-huh yep. yeah wow yeah. Oh, yeah, like by far. And he's not in a ton of stuff, but he's. I always, I always, he's good. I like him a lot. I like mm -hmm. him. I'm happy. Uh, he's getting work. Hopefully, they don't fucking destroy his sequel here. The paddy wagon. I heard that, Rob. It was good. Um. All right. To me, to kick off the fifth round, I wonder how you're gonna feel about this, Dave. Um. Ugliest car ever, but Walter White's Pontiac was so iconic. Yeah, it was. Go ahead. Yes, it was. Yeah, it was. The my, car. my college roommate had a red one of them. Really? An Aztec, yeah. It is every time I see one. You don't see many nowadays anymore. You saw them, a lot of them for a minute, though. Oh, yeah. yeah. But whenever you see them now, it's the Walter White car. It is now the Walter White car. Yep. Hmm. My friends made fun of me playing GTA online because I drove a car that looked like that to look like Walter White, and they were like, bro, you could drive any car in the game, and you're choosing the fucking Aztec, but that's what I wanted. No, Walter White. Bad, bad dude. Eisenberg. He drove it, too. Mm -hmm. A lot of innocent d people died because of him. His actions. A lot of lives ruined. Hmm. A lot of bodies disintegrated yep. in acid. Not because of his you poor know? Pontiac, though. No. That Pontiac no. got he, into a car. He killed he those dies. two gangsters when, oh, when uh, um, Jesse was about to go take him out for yeah. using the kids. He that was like it. the best scene, of, one of the better scenes of the show. I should not, maybe not the best, but one of the, when he's like, run, right before it, and that you got that yeah. eerie voice or eerie music playing run. in the background. Yeah, that was good. Say Walter White's Pontiac. Robbie. Final pick. Really tough. There's a lot of good ones on the board. I think I'm going back to the cartoon world with this next pick, though. So a couple good ones. I'm going to take the 1986 Plymouth Junkarola from the Simpsons. Mm. Uh, Homer Simpson's pink car. It's an iconic one. A lot yeah, of good ones in the garage. The yeah. Every episode you watch that, Simpsons hit and run, Simpsons road rage, great video games made specifically because of that car. Uh, just a classic, all-time Homer Simpson's Junkarola. I never knew the name of it. Yeah, I didn't either. Yeah. Neither did I. I didn't till today until I looked it up. <laughs> good fifth round pick. Great value. That is a good good fifth rounder. Dave, to you. Thank you, guys. Ed's the biggest moron on planet Earth, wow. by the way. So when he started opening his mouth, he knows I love Breaking Bad. And he's like, and I'm like, fuck, I'm about to get sniped again. But he took the fucking took the wrong car. car. Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, he, he failed to take the crystal ship. Did a fucking RV. The entire show was based around for four or five seasons. Don't even try to say. Uh, no way. Uh, that is how his entire drug enterprise and well, not even enterprise empire. He's in the empire business. Started was in that RV. They stole it off of uh, what's his name's lot. The, the guy that got shot. The Pontiac's the more iconic. I don't think so at no, all. It's not I even close. So. No. That's Are crazy. That's so. crazy. Maybe yeah, not. Clip this. Okay, he okay he cooked drugs in there for the first time, and it was a pivotal point for the show. But it has way more screen time, the Pontiac. No, it doesn't. I don't think so. No, at any does. point there in time, are, it's that's only in the first season, right? No, no, it's in the first like no. three or three ish. How long does he cook in there? I thought, and then until he goes to the laundromat. Well, there's the famous scene where. But then they're always the, flashing the back. back. Yeah, and right. And, and, and the junkyard guy. And Hank's trying to get him to come out, and they're you know stuck in there. There yeah. was entire episodes filmed in the RV. Yeah, entire full episode. The RV is way more iconic. You might as well have taken Skyler's station wagon with the wood paneling. <laughs> no, I, I guess I disagree. No, you don't. You agree. No, you no, just no. are trying I, to. I, I'm telling you. I, I think, like, if you, if I close my, I, of course. But I, I'm also thinking cars. I'm not thinking fucking campers. Vehicles. Yeah. Vehicles. Yes, I'm thinking. Yeah, I didn't that thing was. I, so on your text, I just looked up again. You said cars from movies. Yeah. I didn't have any TV or any trucks of any kind, but I had a few that were iconic enough where I wanted to bring up the debate, like Optimus Prime or the Mutt's like, big-ass van thing uh, from Dumb and Dumber. Like, the the door was open. And then I'm like, I have to get The Crystal Ship. That's my all-time favorite TV show. One show that, I've, that I love that it absolutely stuck the landing. It was perfect ending. And The Crystal Ship was a major part of the plot and part of the, like, the character arc of Walter White and Heisenberg. It's one of the more, I, I would say this could have been a first round pick. Yeah, I, I, I wanted to take it. And I'm like, can I throw another Breaking Bad vehicle on there? It feels kind of weird. But I even looked it up. Like, it's literally on the series premiere poster. It's him and the yeah. fucking. Because it, it starts where he wakes up and it, all the guys are passed out. He's in his underwear. It's the first scene of the show. Yes. Yeah. And then it obviously sticks around um, before he obviously. If he wouldn't have around. gotten his underwear and, and thrown the mask onto the side of that road when the, when he heard the cops in the first episode, he might have not ever gotten caught. Yeah. I mean, if Eddie wants to say, hey, listen, that's the real vehicle that's responsible for all this death and misery for all the people in the Southwest, even across the country, if not the world, that's okay. But I don't think that's it. They just had a I, Super Bowl commercial with it. Yeah. He's like, this is, yeah, you're an artist. Corners. What was it, Doritos? Or Cheetos or Pop something? Corners. Popcorners. So you're an art. It was in the RV. Sure, I, I I could maybe maybe say I was wrong. It's not the most iconic, but I still, I still think about that Pontiac a lot. You're the only person on earth who has ever thought about that Pontiac at all. I disagree. I think that's. I think you're wrong on that. Have you ever thought about that Pontiac? I, no, I, it's the RV. The RV is. <laughs> There's no arguing is this one. The, that. Is the vehicle from the show. You think I'm fucking afraid of you guys to argue about that pony? I'll argue all day. I'll, well, I know you will. <laughs> I know you will. I respect the RV, but I still like the Pontiac. Final, final statement. Clem. I can't believe you said the word iconic. That was the wrong word. Jesus. I'm sorry, Ed. Um, <laughs> I want that clipped, by the way, Harry. <laughs> So I could go. There's one. There's one car I really like, and it's gonna kill me that it's not on my board. But I just, I think my it'll just look better on my board graphically, not for the graphic, but just in terms of popping with all the other beautiful cars I've chosen here. And I just also don't want to get fucking roasted by everyone being like, "How could you leave this guy off?" If you're saying cars from movies, you have to throw the movie Cars guy in there. Lightning McQueen, uh, AJ. That was like one of his first. That would first. Parents know this. There's certain movies that will just get your kids just to stop crying. Just shut the fuck trying up. Trying to kill themselves. Shut the fuck up. Yeah, thank you. Kill each other. And uh, Lightning McQueen is one of our first for AJ, so uh, I got to throw him on the board. Don't know. Um, I'm, I, I don't think I've even watched Cars 3. I saw Cars 1. I think we saw Cars 2. Saw him in uh, the Disney Boys. We passed by him in Disney, so uh, Lightning McQueen just feel like he... he it's Owen Wilson. Who doesn't love Owen Wilson, right? So, like, I like, I like right. both Wilsons actually. The young vote. Who's he going, Luke? Yeah, yeah, Luke. Yeah, 
The magic school bus in the cars crowd. That's who. That's who. Clung, <laughs> that's who. AJ better rally the troops <laughs> for it. <laughs> yeah, you better fucking tell AJ and Sienna, but they get the megaphone on that school lot. Oh, it's not. It's summer. <laughs> yeah. You're screwed. What a guy, bad guy. Guy has the good burger thing <laughs> followed by the car that no one even remembers for breaking. Oh, bad. and oh, fuck you. They remember. Right. Oh, <laughs> Jesus Christ. The mega powers explode. <laughs> you know I said Joe Johnson. You heard me say Joe Johnson. You should have said Joe Johnson. I said Quiz Post too. What was the other thing? Love song. That's your fault, Eddie. It's your report as well. I'm off at ZD. I'm off. I'm God. I'm a free agent. Who oh, wants no. Hawkers? You need a teammate? You need a teammate? Uh, climb on. Oh, Chicago. Eat. Maybe I'll go to <laughs> Chicago right in between you guys. <laughs> well, let's talk after. I never <laughs> saw those movies, and I know I love them. I've seen the first one. And I saw it like recently, uh, like within the last two or three years. It was a good movie. Yeah, good I'm, little. They're all good movies. Yeah. All those Pixar, DreamWorks movies, are great. Is that Soul? The case? second Cars, I believe, is notorious for breaking their good movie streak. Though I believe yeah. people say the second Cars is like their first flop ever. Yeah, yeah, I think so. But I think three bounced back, right? I think so, yeah. but I think mm -hmm. three gets dark. At least from the trailer, the trailer's like lightning's about to die on the track. He's spurting oil out of his jugular. Damn, got real dark. That's they're no stranger to that. They almost killed the Toy Story dolls and fucking fact, you know, <laughs> incinerator. Chief, Mister Relevant, I'm taking Russ Cole's red truck, the red pickup truck from True Detective. So, I just finished it like two days ago again. Huh. Yeah, I. So Ed, you just got kind of like an old school car. If I could have any kind of old school car, I think I would take this truck. Like I, I think Get it's just it cool. Refurb. I think they looked. I think trucks look cooler back then than the ones that, mm -hmm. that they make now. And uh, I always just thought that car was sweet. So I'll take Russ Cole's truck. I don't even know what it is. Probably Ford F one fifty or something. Oh, that's nice. You've never seen this show? I have seen it, but I forgot the truck. I only seen it once. I don't watch it. Rewatch it, like Dave. Uh, you got anything on Russ Cole's truck, either of you? It's only in I forgot uh, about it, but you remind me about it, and I'm like, oh, yeah, it was a red truck. Yeah, yeah exactly. There's nothing really memorable about yeah, it. Yeah, probably the only one on the list that's not that memorable. Like I I, uh, I, I would say that that Pontiac <laughs> probably fit that no, description. No, I, I would have remembered the Pontiac maybe only because my one of my buddies in college had one, and he was like the one kid with a car on, on campus, but the – I, don't, I just finished the first season again like two days ago, three days ago. You should watch it again then. So you didn't watch it closely enough. Details. I, they have the big fight scene in the parking lot. He throws him into the back of the truck. Okay, he never yeah, gets yeah, his yeah. taillight fixed when he comes up in the eighth in the, episode, tailing behind him. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it's a great red, looking truck. You didn't watch it very closely. You're probably uh, too I mean, much I'm, How many times have you it's watched it? It's a red it? truck. I, it, gets, uh, <laughs> it gets a yearly rewatch from me. Ed. It absolutely is a red truck, Robbie. <laughs> no, as soon as you said it, I remember. But like, I would have yeah. had to think about it a little bit. But there's just nothing for me left. So I got one honorable mention. What do you got? Um, I doubt anybody in here. Maybe Robbie. Maybe Robbie. Have you ever seen Bullet Robbie? 60s movie? No. It's uh, with Steve McQueen and a Robert Vaughn. Um, it's uh, it's out in L.A. I so my dad loves Steve McQueen, and he's he's like an icon from that era. Loved him, and I remember why. I don't. It was on my list only because I remember thinking when I'd watch this movie with my dad, that car's sweet. It's a '68 Mustang, like classic, you know, muscle car. Um, but I don't really remember the plot as well. They're they're like going after mobsters and shit, and there's like double crosses and all that. But um, yeah, that's the only one I got. You got any honorable mentions? Um, I did have Al Collings' white Ford Bronco um, listed on there from the FX series. <laughs> I thought you were going to draft it from oh, Seinfeld. Series. Oh, That's, yeah. Because I don't even know what you're um, the the. I don't even know what the car is, but it's like that iconic scene with Tom Cruise is driving down with um, what's his face in Rain Man. Like that's a cool car. Yeah. Uh, but no, nothing. Dustin Hoffman. Yeah, yeah. Dustin, Dustin Hoffman. Hoffman. Yeah. See what I mean? No, I have no brain today. I get like that. I'm hurt too. Yeah. Son, uh, Robbie, what did um, what you have any honorable mentions? I got a couple. Uh, John Wick's Mustang. The whole movie is over stealing the car and the dog and pretty much that. Uh, another that Tarantino one, the car from Death Proof, which is just like a death contraption that Kurt Russell drives. Super badass. Has the skull painted on the hood. I probably maybe should have took that over the pussy wagon but both great tarantino ones one that i really thought would be taken 
the footmobile from the Flintstones. Ah, oh, I thought about that. Would have been a great pick. I don't want to do a self-pedaling yeah. car. I thought about that. That's too much work. Well, sign of the times. Yeah, <laughs> Stone Age. <laughs> the fuck. Yeah, yeah I didn't, didn't want it. What about the, the Jetsons from the car? A-team? I never watched it. The Jetsons. Well, it's a spaceship, right? Yeah, I think but that's that was a their version of a car. The flying car. Yeah. Um, and and then like the Christine from the movie Christine. Never seen it. John Carpenter horror movie. And the Deuce Coop from American Graffiti, the movie that George Lucas made mm-hmm. before Star Wars. Ooh. Um, Gran Torino from Gran Torino. Gran yeah. Torino. Oh, Gran <laughs> Torino. <laughs> Overrated movie, I thought. I liked that movie. Oh, liked it's it like too. a good, like, yeah, it oh, this is on AMC at 9 o'clock in the morning on Sunday. I'll Why put not? this on, yeah. Clem, you got any honorable mentions? Yeah, uh, Robbie said a bunch of them that people were probably screaming at their, you know, whatever screen that we didn't take. Uh, Kit from Knight Rider 2, um, which is an older one. Again, I think it's like, I think that's even a little too old for me. I couldn't take it with a clear conscience because I didn't watch. I would see, I know he was a talking car. He seemed pretty fucking cool. I think um, it, the voice, because I remember this from my Nana's, like, watch, I've seen probably like five or six episodes. I think it's Mr. Feeney. I'm almost positive the voice. Really? Is, I'm pr- I, I'd have to look, I'll look it up, but keep going. Um, this is the one I really wanted uh, for the graphic. Uh, Robbie kind of threw me off by taking Homer's car, but King and Arrow. It's uh, it's like a one episode. Yeah, Simpsons. Marge Canyon drives and it. Arrow. And yeah. Oh yeah, it. yeah. The Canyon Arrow. Yeah, it's just like all those things, like the hard. Do you guys remember I was talking right? about with the Simpsons earlier when I think it was his brother-in-law had him design a car, and he went the like Homer. Way yeah. Way over, and it looked like a spaceship with like a little fucking bubble on top of him, and it broke bankrupted the company. Yep, yep. It's uh, that's actually my my Sienna's watching The Simpsons right now, and that was one of the ones that was on recently. Uh, it's a great. The thing is, it's like such a bad car in the show that it bankrupts everything. But it would have made my list if it didn't have that to the storyline. But that's a great uh, car as well. Uh, this was another one that was tough. Benny the Cab. He's the car from Roger Rabbit. He fucking comes through. He talks. I always think like I'd like to have these cars. So it would be cool to have like a car that's your buddy that can drive you anywhere and whatever. Uh, this is the thing that I thought about when uh, you guys took the Entourage car, Sonny's car from Bronx Tale, and it's like such a big deal. Like, oh yeah, Sonny could drive it and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Um, does he let, lend it to see? Is that like a part of the movie when he? Has yeah, it goes. It goes in the date. Yeah. Yeah. So, Ed, Ed, uh, his Ed loves that trick. Shut up. <laughs> this is like people are listening, so now they understand that the shrapnel that comes at me. He did the it's the car the, the door trick? lock test. That's at his number oh, the, one I, move. I thought the other one. Yeah, the, his friend's trick. <laughs> yeah. that's the one. That no, 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 no. <laughs> uh, I I have one. Okay, uh, Pizza Planet truck. Oh, that would have been a good one. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's a great one. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't even think about that. That's a great one. Drives like an the asshole. little Nero's car. No, oh, I'm thinking yeah. of pizza oh, places. Oh, that's a good one too. Yeah. yeah. I huh? had the Inspector Gadget mobile too. I don't know if that's too old for you guys. It was like the cartoon. It changed. Yeah, from I like remember. Band, yeah. Like car. Yeah. I, I love that. It would change. Speed Racers car, I feel like, was a big deal. But again, a little before us. And I didn't know what to put this as or what movie or show it was from. But it's been in a bunch. It's basically any car that like Snoop would drive where it has the hydraulics and whatever. And I was like, man, those things are fucking awesome. Like, <laughs> everyone drives them in Cali, like rappers usually. Yeah. So oh, I should have taken like one of Eddie Guerrero's low riders. Yeah, that would have been good. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. I'm going to read it off and we're vote it off and we'll see who's uh, off the poll. Uh, Eddie, the DeLorean, Wayne's World, Mirthmobile, Clark Griswold Station Wagon, Good Burger Mobile, Walter White's Pontiac. Uh, Robbie, the Batmobile, Bond 64, Aston Martin, the Mystery Machine, the Pussy Wagon, 86 Plymouth, Junkarola, White Sox Dave, Dumb and Dumber Van, uh, Bluesmobile, Optimus Prime, Truck truck Form, uh, Charger from Dukes of Hazard, problematic, uh, the Crystal Ship from Breaking Bad, uh, Clem, Ecto-1, Jurassic Park Explorer, the Bluth Stair Car, the Magic School Bus and Lightning McQueen, Chief Cameron's Dad's Ferrari, Drama's Lincoln, Tommy Boy's Plymouth, uh, Grease Lightning Car, Russ Cole's truck. Um, all right. Let's uh, write it down. I actually don't know who to go for here. Tommy Boy's Plymouth was in Chicago, too. There's like a we're, lot we're of... We're writing down who to vote off, right? Yeah, who's Correct. off. All right. All right, everybody good? Yeah. Clem, who do you got? You Chief? motherfucker. Robbie? Chief? I appreciate the apology. Chief. I voted for you because you're stupid. Chief. 
All right, that's it. That's well, three just votes. Have Dave's no, racist no. car on the graphic. <laughs> Chief, you're I voted got off. saved by the uh, the crystal ship though. I was like, oh, that's right. He got like a yeah. first round pick. I voted for Chief. He's got a blank screen there, by the way. <laughs> I, the camera saw it. I voted for Chief. Mm. Uh, oh. Chief, you're off again. Unfortunately, sorry. It's fine. Um, yeah, that's it. I'm not a yeah, car right? guy. This wasn't a strong draft for me, and my brain's not working. So, yeah. well, no shout out NASCAR though. event. We'll be out there this weekend. Hope to see you guys there. Uh, thank you, Robbie. Thank you, Clem. Thanks, Use some boys. Aloe, boys. Yeah. Use some aloe. Get that and yeah. the race and the race again. Butter up. Dog, you know, no one's tougher than the sun. SPF fifty or above. Guys, got to take it easy. I know we do. Thank You're you, right. guys. Right. Yeah. Right. Thank you for listening. And like I said, best of Monday. Uh, not sure what's going to air, but check it out if you got looking for something to listen to. Um, all right, that's everybody. Thank you for listening. See you guys tomorrow.